Fire Martinelli again. So that's another one of those ones. Oh, hello. We've got... Oh, hello. This could be a golden bowler. What is going on, guys? Here we are. We have got our first look on the channel at the brand new Panini Adrenaline XL 2023 season collection. Now, these are the kickoff multi packs that uh, came out yesterday, which was the 21st of July. We're in now, so out early. I believe the main collection itself is out early August. Can't remember the exact date, uh, but yeah, kickoff multi packs always good. Guaranteed limited edition Erling Haaland in this, in each one. So I've got two, so I'm going to get two of them. But let's get these open and have a look at these cards. So it is that time of year again. We are getting a lot of brand new collections coming out. We've got the this early look at the Panini Adrenaline XL 2023 season collection. It's due out early August. Match tax is due out later in August. It, it's that time of year. Busy, busy times for collectors. So excited to see these again. You know, really like the kickoff multi packs. Early look at the cards. You only get a select few of the teams in there. You won't get all the teams, depending on what teams have left their kits to the last minute. So probably Leeds won't be in these kickoff multi packs because their kit was only released the other day. Um, but yeah, three ninety nine, so not too bad. A guaranteed Erling Haaland limited edition in each one. There it is, uh, and there it is in the other one. So yeah, I like the put a limited edition. That's definitely new and different. But yeah. In, in every single one? Yeah, maybe not, but I yeah, maybe put it where you could get it randomly. I've seen golden ballers found in these as well, so that's amazing that you can get golden ballers. They look awesome, so fingers crossed we've got one of them. Hit that like button to give me some good luck going into the video, and obviously if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. Let's have a look at the brand new Adrenaline XL card. There are some of the cards, a lot on the back. I mean, look at that fire card. The fire and ice look epic. They were epic last year. The designs look pretty smart from what i've seen but i will hold judgment until i see that see it myself obviously the limited editions there it is they are pretty awesome again similar to the um world cup limited editions with that kind of laser line effect in the background um erling harland there looks like he's got long hair in that one a bit of a ponytail i don't know i think he's still got that now uh, but yeah, defense 76, control 99, attack 99, total of 274. That's a bit insane. Um, I'm sure we'll see him uh, potentially in a golden ball or in the plus set or something like that. Um, but yeah, awesome design on those. And even the backs of the cars look really good as well. They've got the nice um, simple, you've got the sort of the Panini branding as well, obviously, with this. It look, kind of looks like the 2022, the 2020. Um, sticker album sort of colour scheme with this set so again interested to see if we'll see different colours and stuff like that outside of the uh, the kickoff multi packs so there's the limited edition let's get these four packs off to start off with so like I said only a select few um, of the cards and teams and stuff in these multi packs as it always is with the kickoff cards um, I don't know if it says that somewhere normally does but it doesn't on this one Never mind. So let's see what we are going to get. And again, even the base cards look nice. Look at that. Nice. Um, they've got a bit of texture to them as well. So that's like smooth. And then sort of the, the red bit, the, the lighter red is textured. That bit is smooth. So you can pick that up there. There you go. You can pick that up there. So you can see the bits that are smooth and textured. So even for a base card, that is nice. That is a That's a definite improvement on the designs from last year. I know every, every every time we say this, and every time most of us get these collections, we say, oh, it's a lot better, it's a lot better, it's better than last year's, but this is this, this, this definitely looks it. I think we said the Panini Plus collection from last year was the best. This is probably going to top it. So Odegaard, uh, Ilkay Gundogan, I like the colour match as well with the sort of the kits, really nice. Um, we've got a Electric Pace. Kyle Walker. Now that is a nice one. Looks like it's got like lightning bolts uh, running through the back of that as electric type stuff. Uh, we also get fire. Gabriel Martinelli. Now that kind of reminds me. What does that remind me of? I think it's from a Marvel film. Where it's like a spiral portal type thing comes out. That looks pretty good. Like a Catherine wheel type thing. Um, so we're getting really nice design on that as well. Happy with that. We get Phil Foden. Uh, and we also get Harvey Elliott. So that's not bad for our first pack. So we are looking for a golden ball. I'll open this one because I have ripped this one when I opened it. 
So I have seen some golden ballers be pulled. So that is pretty amazing for this for the kickoff sets. Uh, Cancelo, uh, we've got Rodrigo Bentancourt. Again, I think there's probably going to be a lot of errors in this set. Um, again, just because it is so early. That midfield master looks stunning. I like the way they've kind of done it at the background and like a rip effect through the middle. Um, and it's got like the centre circle type thing there, midfield. So that's pretty nice as well. Yeah, really nice design on that one. Again, awesome stuff. What else have we got? We've got Titan, um, Hugo Lloris. Yeah, not a bad one. There's Hugo Lloris' base card. Uh, and we've got the lineup for Liverpool. Yeah, there we go. So there's the first one. We've got Mane in there, look. Um, obviously now at Bayern Munich. But again, it's one of the things we've released in so early. A lot of people don't like it when the set is released so early because of the transfer window. And I get it. Um, but that's well as a plus set. I don't know, again, people say, well, that's just a money-making thing, but we, we we still get it, we still buy it, it's, we like it, we love it. That's why we're collectors. Um, if we didn't enjoy it, we wouldn't do it. Uh, Harry Winks, uh, Rico Henry of Brentford. We also get Alisson, super stopper there. That's a nice design as well. Kind of got the net of the goal effect in the background of that one. So it'll be interesting to see how many subsets there are. Uh, and Defensive Steel. Do like the kind of marble effect in the back of that one. That's pretty nice. So we've got plenty of subsets so far. Uh, Sergio Regulon, and we've got the Chelsea team as well. So again, Lukaku's in that. Um, yeah, so again, little errors that are going to be in this set, unfortunately. I think for Leeds, personally, we're probably going to see Calvin Phillips and Rafinha in the Leeds squad. Um, obviously, they're both no longer there. He's not going to be, Phillips isn't going to be in the Man City one, unfortunately. Um but again, I'm sure there'll be either an update set for this, although we'll see it in the plus set, as we did last season. Uh, Vladimir Sufau, Mo Salah. Uh, we also get a leader, Mikel Antonio. That's a nice one. I do like that. Leader subset. We've got bonuses. Probably a badge, I would say. Oh, it's the Premier League trophy. Happy with that. Again, another nice design on the card. They always seem to sort of... I felt in the past the trophy card's not been the best, but that looks nice. So I'm happy with that one. That does look pretty decent. Uh, Sergi Canos of Brentford and Declan Rice of West Ham. So that's the first multi-pack. So we didn't get a golden baller, but we've still got one more to go. So fingers crossed we can get one. So I am going to have another, obviously, Erling Haaland limited edition in this. But um, it is what it is. Obviously, they're going to be 10 a penny because... How many of these have they made? Probably loads. Everyone's going to have them. Um, here it is. Another Haaland. Limited edition. <coughs> Get all the packs off. Again, a bit of a price increase this year with some of the tins and stuff like that. But again, you know, you can't really avoid it at the minute. Price increases on everything. Um, so, yeah. Some people won't be able to afford to collect it. Again, I'm going to probably take it slow with the collection. Um, because I won't be able to afford to go out and buy it sort of all at the start, unfortunately. Um, but again, it's going to keep me occupied over the season, so happy days. Pontus Janssen, Issa Diop. We get top finisher, Erling Haaland. So that's another nice one. Again, so we're getting another Haaland card. I'm sure we'll probably see quite a lot of this guy uh, in future sets. Uh, we've got another Titan goalkeeper. That is Larry. So there's a swap. Uh, we've got the Crystal Palace formation. Uh, and we have Thomas Party of Arsenal. So we are still looking for a golden baller. Come on. The look needs to be on my side for this. Alcantara, Mora. Uh, we've got Fire Martinelli again. So that's another one of those ones. Oh, hello. We've got... Oh, hello. This could be a golden baller. World-class Thomas Suchek. And again, look at that. We've got the, the sort of world in the background. That is nice as well. Big fan of that one. So this could be... So we've got three inserts in this pack. Could be Golden Baller. Now, normally with Golden Ballers, you can see kind of the outline of the card. Um, so this potentially isn't, actually. Um, but interesting on this one, they've got like sort of where the players can play. So not just a striker, for example. This could be left wing or striker. And it's Diamond, Phil Foden. So again, a nice one nonetheless. Not a Golden Baller, but the Diamond effect is back. And we do love a Diamond card on the channel. We do love a Diamond card. Here at FCSC. So, final two packs. We still haven't got one of the golden ballers. Let's hope. 
Make sure to hit that like button to give me some good luck. Uh, Ivan Tony, John Stones. Uh, we get Electric Pace, Kyle Walker. So we're getting, another, we're getting a few swaps now. Uh, never mind. The Wolves badge. Again, I like the stadium in the background as well on those. That looks nice. Can't wait to see the Leeds one of those. Uh, Phil Foden and Harvey Elliott. And the final pack from this kickoff multi pack for Adrenaline XL 2023. We have Kyle Walker, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold. We have Defensive Steel, Aaron Questwell of West Ham. Have I got one of those? I think I did. Never mind. It's around somewhere. We also get Lee there, Antonio. So that's another one of those. And we get the Brighton uh, Club Crest there. And we finish off with Emerson Roy Al. So, yeah, I mean, the cards in there are pretty nice. I mean, that midfield master, that is probably my favourite one so far, maybe, apart from the diamond. But the diamonds are always going to be up there, in my opinion. They're just stunning cards. Um, but, yeah, I'm absolutely awesome. We've got the Erling Haaland limited edition as well, as you will get in these. But, yeah, a first look. First first impressions, stunning, stunning, stunning set. Can't wait to sort of get it in the binder, have a look at it, see what it looks like all put together. It's going to be a good collection. It's going to be a big collection, as it always is. Um, and there's going to be plenty more videos to come on the channel from the Adrenaline XL 2023 Premier League collection. So make sure you subscribe and turn your notification bell on. Check out links in the description to my Instagram, to my TikTok. Head over there and give us a follow. Until the next one, cheers.